Banana here and welcome back to Feed the Creeper. We're finally back at the BRB and as promised in my last tweet from last week, we have a lot of progress to cover today. Um, we skipped one episode if, uh, in case you missed the tweet um, because there was a lot of pencils of work to do and I basically did the same as in the last episode. So we skipped one, um, should be no problem. Um, we got one more of these islands, it's a new one, it has sort of quartz, redstone, diamonds, uh, nether stuff, and actually spider, spider assets, seeds, because we get string from that and that's a source of wool without using any animals. So that's pretty cool. Um, look, this island here got changed, um, we had the uh, Nether essence or, or nether seeds? No, wait, essence seeds. Yeah, the essence seeds were here, but we don't need them anymore, actually. Um, I can show you in the system then uh, what we, uh, why we don't need them anymore. But however, we have gas tears, magma cream, glowstone, gunpowder, and lapis lazuli on this island. Why? Basically because it makes mimikite. That's the mimikite island. Right here, and with that Mimikite, we can make these processors pretty easy. We don't need to smelt them anymore. That's really cool. So that's one island for this Mimikite stuff. Um, this is always uh, still the same. Um, this is new, yeah, right. I didn't show this yet. I had the idea to use these monitors here, the storage monitors. You can see what... Um, you can place any item in there and then see how much is actually in your system. And I got the, the essence, the ingots, and the pulverized stuff. So we are almost at the 100k <laughs> for each of these metal stuff here. And you get shiny metal get from pulverizing this ferro stuff. So I put this in here too. So you basically see what you get from this farm here so far. It took about two weeks to get all the stuff out of this farm. And this is on zero yet because we are still producing that stuff and here's gold and here yeah, copper. I like the idea, tell me what you think about these guys here and also tell me, please, if you know how to dye them. I know there's a way to make them yeah, have a different color than this, this purple stuff here. I couldn't figure out how to do it yet. Uh, I tried um, with dye, but uh, yeah, it just shows me how much of the dye I have. <laughs> so this stuff is new. Um, also new is this up here. I see it. I will just walk around my base, I think, and tell you what's new whenever I see it. These are fluid storage monitors up here, and as you can see, we have like 16 kilo buckets water and lava. I set this stuff up, and right here, that's why we have that much. We made these thingies here, and this is a project for today, by the way. <laughs> and yeah, so I didn't limit how much I produce, I just set it to um, have one drive, and if, as soon as this drive is full, yeah. We are done. Basically, that's how it works. And if you take a look into the system, we have almost two million, or we had almost two million. Uh, used a lot today to make more seeds, including the diamond ones. And we I used up about 200k essence dust today. We still have 1.6 million. So yeah, for now I just removed the farm for this stuff here. Um, also, yeah, almost 100k. Pretty cool. And we have a lot of dice now. Hmm. Really a lot of dice and a lot of wood. It's like tons of wood. Every single wood in the game. And yeah, saplings too. Maybe at some point we should do something about the saplings. Yeah. How oh, how come? It's pretty easy. I built the actual tree farm. This is a fully automated die tree farm for all 16 die trees that are there. Uh, it's the same setup, that's why I didn't include it in an episode um, as we used last time, just 16 times the same setup. <laughs> and these guys down there, they, they can actually use bone meal as soon. Um, let me show you an example here. Okay, here it is. These are the collecting things. Um, it's over here. So we have this autonomous actuator here. Nothing in it, but this export bus is set to bone meal and this level limit that says, okay, as soon as you have um, 10k of this orange dye, stop this guy from putting bone meal into there. So as soon as we 
get under 10k um, orange in this case because these are the orange trees it will start to bone meal it like crazy and as I set it up um, I was a little bit sad I didn't record that I set it up and all the guys were bone mealing and exploding and it was, was kind of fun but yeah that's the uh, that's the, the tree farm and yeah we have also have less bunnies and squirrels just an hour ago I removed basically all of them using a command because we had thousands of them literally thousands of these guys and everything was lagging out and that, that was an actual problem so um, we cannot confirm this is a bug that they spawn they don't even stop stop spawning at all so yeah we had to remove them to avoid problems however that's the new stuff um, let's go down to, to to the magic area where all the magic happens of course there's new stuff a lot of new stuff the stuff was already there it's just just producing for example what are you doing the copper and yeah, processing all the stuff and on this side here oops this is new too what is this oh this is just for bone meal mm, oh this side is completely new i think yeah these two produce cobblestone and these two usual stone and they are set to 1 million we are halfway there i think and slow but we are getting there um what's this oh yes this uses some of the cobblestone up to produce lava for the system um, both of them do actually what do we have here we have oh yeah cobblestone pulverized gets us sand so we have sand unlimited and sand into glass unlimited glass yes this is the water oh our penguin friend got in here oh no why oh we didn't kill the penguin by the way <laughs> make sure he doesn't die let's save him safari oh yeah we have more of these safari nets let's actually take care of this right now so nothing stupid happens to him could you come back Take care of the place right here. Yeah, perfect. Don't don't go into the water anymore. Maybe we should build him a, a water pond at some time so he can swim a little bit. But yeah, seems a little bit dangerous in, in, in between in, uh, between these uh, machines there. Mm, not a place for a penguin. Now I lost track. Mm. Oh yeah, this is new too. It's the same system to make the clear glass again, like uh, putting glass into there, putting lava into there with these fluid export busts. Yeah, it's coming out of our system pretty cool actually and yeah this stopped because we have enough and let's see how much do we have we must have more than 50k of the clear glass that's what, what it is set to this is all new too um, it's basically for um, the this one is the nether essence producing what does it even do I have no idea Oh yeah, doing doing the nether quartz and this thing here does do nether quartz into nether quartz dust. Could I fly? Thank you. Okay, 1k nether quartz dust and 1k silicon. This is smelts the nether quartz dust into silicon. Um, this is for um, oh certus quartz. Yeah, certus quartz ore out of the essence, and we get. Um, up to 100k um, of the Sort of Squads crystals itself and on this side Nether Quartz Dust and this is set for diamonds actually and this is set to 1 million I would like to have 1 million diamonds at some point before we reset anything at any point so yeah I think that's all about the news basically yeah, I, I guess, <laughs> I I'm not even sure. But all, with all this stuff now, we can have also unlimited access to ME stuff. We can make these processors, and we have the mimic height um, to actually do them, uh, like duplicate them and smelt them, so we don't, we can do this, uh, that in our uh, Big Mac up there. But for today's project, I would like to get um, automated redstone energy conduits okay let's have a look real quick conduit how they are made because you need to fill them with redstone um, here they are yes you need these guys fluid transposer fill them with redstone and these guys are made with electron um, and hardened glass for example and, and some other stuff too and um, we also have to do the electrum I just realized I didn't set up that but we will take care of that okay for this first we need redstone actual redstone would be good 
and this stuff, fluid. So this stuff here will get us fluid redstone. Okay, to start with, um, let's set up this cyclic assembler. I usually leave one space, not here. Um, set up our assembler right here. Um, let's then get our export, uh, no, import, the import thingy. That's already configured and uh, export thing on top, like so. Okay, this guy um, is okay too. You need to export redstone essence for me, please. Um, then we need a level emitter to stop it at some point. So I guess we set this guy to um, 100k redstone on stock should be okay and all that other stuff um, being essence. I know I could get everything to essence and this should stop as soon as, as it gets a signal. So it's only active without a signal. Um, I mean, we, we could turn all the essence into redstone anyway because we don't need it, but um, I like it this way. I like to use these guys and make everything a little bit yeah, different. So now this guy here needs power first and we should set him. Mm, we need a schematic and tell him to make redstone. Do you make redstone like this? Yes, we do. And tell him, okay, to do this right now. And that's okay. Take care of this. Like import on top, export on the bottom. And this is already set, actually. Now the only thing we need is a little bit of cable to do this. Uh, connect the level limiter, connect this dude here and this dude right here. And now it exports all the stuff and makes us redstone. So um, now we have redstone in our system. So the Mac doesn't have to do it because that, that is really buggy if you, if you let the Mac do it. Now we need to turn our redstone into fluid redstone and store it somewhere. To do that, we need a um, place to store it first. And for that, I would like to have, oh, I made some more. See, I have to do it by hand and that's really bad. We need one full bucket to do that. Um, let's put 10 redstone in there, should give us one bucket, I hope. <laughs> let's see, as soon as this is finished, uh, we need this bucket. 9, 10, and there it is. Okay, we need this full bucket here. Very good. That works already. Um, with this thing, we could do... Um, we can come up here, take our fluid storage thing, put it into here, Tell him to use redstone. It's a bucket right now, but as soon as I hit format, it turns into the liquid and doesn't try to store buckets in a fluid thing. So it's pretty, um, pretty intelligent the thing. And here we have our RSUs. Now put this thing in there, and it will not fill up with water or anything. That's why we format it just for liquid redstone or the stabilized redstone. Yeah, that's that's okay too. And we also could do this right here. Uh, fly. Yeah, we could fly. Okay, here. Check. Zero millibuckets of redstone. Yes, that's correct actually, because it's not in the system yet. Hmm, where should we put it? I think somewhere right here would be a good idea, I guess. Um, let's just um, go one, two out. No, one more, maybe here. Yeah, that should work. Okay, for that, we need a magma crucible right here, one space, and a fluid transposer right here. Okay, that should work. To make it actually work, um, we need the fluid import bus to get it into the system then. We need a export bus. Uh, let fly again, thank you. On top, this is okay already. We need a fluid level limiter at this point because we want to know how much redstone we have to stop it at some point, a uh, liquid redstone. Um, this works already, I guess it should. Okay, let's configure our guy here. Uh, import top, export bottom, this works. 
you should please um, active of art signal, stack mode, get actual redstone into here, and you level emitter. Mm, let's set the sky to redstone, and let's say no above limit as soon as we have. Oh no, this is horrible. Um, okay, wait. <laughs> One. Why could you not be two, not just one? Why is it so weird? Okay, it's, it, that's one bucket, 1,000 millibucket. And I would like to have 10 buckets on hand, just 10 buckets for now, because we need our redstone right now. I don't know how much we have, so I don't want to turn all the redstone into destabilized right now. We can do that as soon as, he, as the essence um, gets too much and um, then turn it up to 16k millibuckets at some point or just to remove the sky here and yeah and the uh, cell will take care of that so this is set up already now we need a um, import bus under this dude here okay this works already oh we have to set the sky to to i don't know just do it as fast as you can i, I think <laughs> Something is really buggy with the flying today, or I'm just lagging, I don't know. Okay, we have a fluid export bus, and we would like to export destabilized redstone. And this guy will be always active. Just fill this, this, this dude here up as soon as you can. This is the import thingy. Yeah, it is. And this is the export thing. That works already. Very good. We also need a precision export bus right here. This guy should export these dudes here. As soon as we get some exported, um, yeah, all we have, just, just export it as soon as some in, in, are in the system because that's the on, only use of these guys. So this is actually perfect. Um, for now, let's get, let's connect these all. So this works. Okay, this is good already. This is also good as it is. And for here we need you there. I think. Do, do we have enough? <laughs> yeah, if not, it's it's not a problem. I can I can get more of them. Oh actually no, this is actually wrong. Come back. No! With this fast pick stuff, um, you always hit something you don't want to. And a lot of stuff in my base breaks really easily. Okay, and how did I do this usually? I think I usually do this. I would like to keep a like, like a seam with, with my, my builds here. And it's wrong, right? Yeah, of course it's wrong. But I fly. Ah! Oh. this right now and these two are wrong. Okay, so this is set up. Only thing we need is power now and for power I always did it one one further. Mm, so like here I guess and then bring it down. Let's do this first so we actually hit what we want to hit. Be so much easier if everything would be smoother and not that laggy and low FPS type of things. But I really do it this way. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's break this one down. Second down. And there it is. Oh no! Too much. Uh, break one. Oh, very good. Okay, cool. So this should work. As you can see, it exports the stuff and it gets imported into our system and actually it should get right into here and not be stored right now. It's a cool thing and actually we are done. We are done with this little project. It's 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 already already finished. 
how it works now. Oh, oh yeah, I put all in all the elevators, by the way. <laughs> we have wool now from, from the spider thingies. So you can take a look into here now, and this flickers, or we could just look up here. And this will fill up eventually at some point. And if we now go for corn, do it. Okay. We only have the crafting here. And if I now tell this guy to make 10, just, just make 10. Oh, it did it. See? And these should be exported pretty soon. No? Hello? Can do it? No? Ha! Huh, interesting! <laughs> Why doesn't it, exp it export our stuff? Shouldn't this guy do it? No? Oh, I didn't set this to import to the left side. Now it did it. And it will produce them. And after that it will just import them. Yeah. And it did it. So whenever we want some actual working uh, redstone conduit thingy cables here, we just come up to here and type in conduit and craft these guys and it will turn out with um, yeah they will turn into this thing and we have two more left just put them in export it and we should have two more in a second that works that's actually pretty cool i like it i like the way how it works i just have to set up a um what's it even called electrum yeah how's it made i think it's it's like one of these um yeah we have to make the blend with gold and silver that's pretty easy to set up um, to automate so we have like 1k on, on hand all the time like 1k dust and 1k ingots but that's nothing for today for us it will take some time and it's actually boring and it's always the same thing one more thing i would like to do today because we have now access to unlimited me stuff basically unlimited oh and the redstone i would like to check how much redstone we actually got we got 15k so to fill up our actual storage thing we would need 16k of plain redstone to fill up this this, this drive here basically with buckets so um, we will wait some time until we do it we do it at some point but we need a lot of redstone for our me stuff and, and all that kind of stuff so i would like to have some on hand for now for now Okay, what we can do right now is all the applied energistic stuff. Okay, let's have a look. What do we need, still need a lot of? Let me tell you guys. <laughs> we need these guys, ME drives. Pretty easy to make, just needs the basic processors. And yeah, that's the recipe, by the way, we can do now. So we need these guys. We are producing everything of that. We get iron, we get glass, we get tests or basically we have tons of it how much wood do we even have i looked for jungle yeah we have some 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 wood <laughs> that's all automatically produced um we also need something called the 64k storage drives we're producing all of this all of this including these processes here that stuff here's a lot of redstone we will need and also we're producing the sorter squad stuff we are low on this stuff right now um, we burn through a lot of it but we are producing it, it right now so that's fine and yeah that's the same too now i did the math we need to, to fill up on uh, up all the stuff if you um if you can remember um if not or if you're a new person here's more on this floor and more on this floor and not more on this floor that's the top so yeah all the sides together that are blank right now equal um, minus the stuff here um equals 160 more of these me drives and 1630 more of these 64k storage Ooh, does it lag out no it does not okay storage drives that means we will now go for ME drive and tell our system to produce actually 160 of these guys at some point. And we go here 
and tell our system to produce actually 1630 of these stupid drives right now please so for now the system should be able to build all of them oh it's so fast maybe that's all the drives already also it would be cool if one thing gets through but the next thing will be these things and this will take forever to craft because it's so much yeah you can see how it makes the mini kite to to, to make these processors oh i love the system it, it's awesome Yes, this will take a lot of time. Oh, it went up to 16 buckets already. Why? I said it for 10. Oh, yeah, because of the overflow of the stuff that is already in there. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, um, the redstone only burning through it. Yeah, definitely we are doing that. See, it's waiting for sort of squads now. And yeah, nothing we can do about that. But the ME drive, they are already done. Cool thing. So we could take them already and yeah basically start to plant them in there. I have to fix this stuff down here and I'm also kind of worried about this energy thing here. That's the whole ME system right now. We're using a lot of stuff already. However, I will basically, um, I think I will after the recording place down the ME drives and then come back next week and see how many of these um, guys the system already produced and find a way to put them in there maybe a set of an automatic process with um, you can put them in with um, how are they called mm -hmm. oh my god I don't know I don't item ducts yeah but uh, yeah maybe I will do something like this and put them all in there but for now I think that's that's it for today I will also set up a lot of more more of this automation stuff a lot of more of these fields here so we get all the seeds in at some point and make um, yeah everything automated so we have everything on hand and as soon as we got that done we are basically more or less done with, with the base we, we would have like all the fluids available just like and the, and the fluid take a look real quick I know I make the video longer than it should be <laughs> by doing stupid stuff per view but it's okay. What do we even have? Oh, it's like life essence. I don't even know what that stuff is. Or is it just called liquid? Just to show me all the liquids? No, it doesn't really work like that. Liquid redstone, liquid tin, liquid DNA. And so there's a lot of really strange stuff. But we will get all the liquids that are like useful uh, maybe it won't be even 10 then we need more of these drives to fill it up but there's a lot of stuff i think that should be useful like ender this creosium liquid creosium huh maybe even more stuff we will see um like um essence yeah there's like oh no not essence how's it called like liquid xp and stuff like that however guys um let's end the video <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like and subscribe to the to, to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have an awesome day, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>